friends, and happy Articles of Confederation Day! Normally, we would be together today at the Colonial Courthouse to learn about the articles with activities and games. Though we can't be together, we've tried to still create a fun way to learn about the articles, so stay tuned throughout the day. Did you know that York was the capital of the United States? For nine months during 1777 and 1778, Continental Congress met here in York in a building that looked much like this one. Continental Congress were a group of men representing each state. They acted as the government of the 13 colonies and the states in the early days of the United States. While in York, they met and worked in the York County Courthouse. Visitors can see the inside of the replica courthouse by taking a tour of the colonial complex. While in York, they adopted the Articles of Confederation, a document that acted as our first form of federal government and united the 13 colonies as one country, the United States of America. These are rules that help the states to start working together. They very carefully chose the words they used and the rules they made. They wanted the meanings to be clear to everyone and they didn't want to give any group, even themselves, too much power. Sometimes they discussed the rules in a friendly and calm way, and sometimes, they just argued. They worked on the articles for over a year, and when they arrived in York, they were still working on them. They discussed things like how many votes should each state get in Congress? How can we work with other countries? How taxes would be collected and spent and other ideas. Everyone had different ideas about the best way to run the country. Sometimes I like to imagine what it would have been like to be in York while Continental Congress was here. Sometimes I even like to imagine what it would have been like to listen in on a session of Continental Congress. Documented, and we have them documented, even to this very day. We have documents and pamphlets upon the things that you have said. It would be much better if we could establish ourselves in such a way that we can transport goods from one colony over state lines into another colony and therefore supply one another appropriately from north to south. Great. Right. So how, how, sir, are we going to manage, Mr. Adams, the, this issue of currency and payment uh, for these goods? The accounting? Yes. I'm greatly, greatly concerned for it. As we have talked about previously, paper money is, is, is fluid in its nature and subject, sir. And so we must talk about coinage, sir. We must speak about raw coins paper, and what we shall do with the them. Paper money is very popular in its own place. In its own town, it does yeah, not yeah. travel. We do not disagree on this subject whatsoever. I am in Where full agreement. Whereas coinage is its own backing. Yeah. Silver is silver, copper is copper. So well, what you're saying, sir, is we should go with coinage only on state-by-state -state transportation of goods. And so if I transport tobacco up to Virginia or to Maryland or or to Pennsylvania, even, sir. Am I going to get paid in coinage, sir? Uh, I think it should be my, it, that we must impose That this. must be agreed upon before the process of the shipment has been established. Uh, I hear what you're saying, sir. That is, in fact, the communication that should happen between states. Of course. And between merchants. Let us not interfere with the work of a merchant in their effort to make money, sir. Are we in agreement? I shall vote positively with you if we are. It's one of those people that do not have coinage, but strictly paper. Well, for God's sake, so should they be merchants at all then? I would, I would say that, that, that silver is, is throughout this land, and it could be used commonly amongst us. I think the secretary... But all people do not have or deal with coinage, or that amount, or that value. But is people it up are, to not us? are custom and appealing is the paper money, but, sir, but it has to be done locally. Mr. Adams, then, is it up to us to make some sort of agreement in the articles that would cover this issue, or, or should we allow local, local convening bodies to make local decisions, and then we making ourselves a generalized statement upon all trafficking, should we not, rather than deal with the local issues? Here we're looking to try to control I don't want to commerce. Control. Well, sir. In commerce, the way we have set it up, the way we have agreed upon it, the way we have done it, has been a personal thing. Uh, but yes, as you bring in to the, the states, 
and the federals and the, the militaries and the taxes and the documentations uh -huh. of all transfers, yes. you are going to quickly abate everything that we have to work for. So you're suggesting that if we overcomplicate the issue, aye, sir, right, that we shall we shall find our own demise in the complication. It shall decrease. I would agree. Why should I travel from from here to uh, the New York City? Yes. And with a wagon loaded of merchandise and material, when less work, less objects, uh, less product, and I sell it locally. So therein is the if issue. If I deal it in paper, I can deal it in paper. So commerce and commodity is in effect one that should determine the need for transportation. If those in New York need whatever goods you are supplying, mm -hmm. sir, then they should make that arrangement with you personally. We here, for the purpose of the articles, should simply state that that sort of commerce is in fact allowed and, and agreed upon by all of us that commerce may happen upon state, across state lines so that whether it's traveling for, for the commodities, deliverance of commodities, or whether it might be traveling even to, to see family who has who, who the relocated past, themselves. In the past, anytime we have needed of product, yes. whether it be tea, uh, silk, sugar, cotton, wool, leather, wood, right. even the sands, of New Jersey yes. have been loaded on ships and taken to England to make glass. Right. We were not permitted to even make glass. Now we have that. And now that sand does not have to be transported across an ocean to create a product to put it back on a ship and transport it back. We can do it here. These are which is local transportation. I do agree. Yes. Yes. In this, sir, we agree completely. Now what we need to do is to decide on the verbiage that we shall use, the exact words, so that we do not overcomplicate. Like because, sir, you know the Marylanders are looking at every word, uh, let alone the Virginians. And so, sir, uh, we, we shall pay attention to each word that goes into these articles, for every word will control how we use coin, how we transfer goods, all the rights of each state, each word we use, sir. Uh, therefore, we must vote upon those words and then enact them as quickly as possible for our nation. Uh, Sir, so is that war?